Hello there, back again with another sort of overview video, but this time it's not gonna be a weapon that we're going to check out and save the world. It's the new recently added Outlander hero, Madcap. I already made a video about another new Outlander that you get earlier in his questline that is more focused on area of effect shock tower, Mayhem. I'll have a link to the video up there and in the description so you can go ahead and watch it whenever you're interested in seeing the other loadout. But here we're focusing on our mushroom man you can get madcap at the last mission of his quest line outlandish oddities i made a quick video guide on how to finish that too it comes around the blasted badlands adventure season which is during summer or if you missed the quest line you could use a hero voucher to recruit him from the collection book under the event people category now for this video we are going to look over his kit how well he does in missions solo or with a team and utilities we could use effectively for his synergy. Let's start with Madcap's kit. His perk is almost similar to the steampunk weapons 6 perk where you have to kill a mob to spawn a mist of damaging clouds. For Madcap however, you just have to hit the new targets with just his teddy and it can't be the same mob unfortunately. Here is the difference between the standard and the commander perk. The standard one has the spore clouds applied affliction to enemies for two seconds feels a little short time. However, in commander perk, an additional status effect also applies with affliction, a 50% slow and the duration is twice as long. Not that much difference, but from my understanding, the affliction damage could scale upon the power level of the mission you play. Perhaps you deal a lot of damage lower and mid power level, but at the highest you don't deal as much damage and it's pretty reasonable, although it isn't specific. I would pretty much consider the affliction status effect still being a little weak nowadays. Madcap's abilities, of course, are pretty well rounded. He starts off with the Teddy for his main perk to automatically activate. Face shift for some mobility in Seismic Smash for a little burst damage in combat. A very solid Outlander, definitely not the strongest, but seems very fun to use in missions that are not certainly in the game. But for me, I always bring anything new right into the highest missions and try them out. I'm gonna take Madcap for a solo run into the 160 before we take a look on the loadout and the utilities I use for this guy. Oh great, we have delivered the bomb today. Okay, so I've collected the charge fragments earlier around the spawn before fighting these guys. Oh, there, is, there are like some nature hugs around here but that's okay let's start this thing oh there's a nurse here already let me use this smg on her okay <laughs> kills her instantly nice all right oh reload i don't even have a reload speed on my silent specter and still a pretty decent time. This is very unintellectual of me using a water <laughs> element uh, weapon on a nature. Oh, there are more enemies here? Okay, this is just water enemies, so I'm probably going to be dealing neutral damage, but my teddy is not, I guess, because he's dealing physical damage and a little bit of energy from its laser eyes because I have bear stare in my loadout so yeah pretty nice not too bad ah I found an extra charge fragment oh this is a llama fragment but I'm not gonna grab anything and there's the shadow orb let's try it on the mist monster and see how it goes who is it it's a taker of course always has to be a taker all right oh it <laughs> Not bad, actually. Not bad. Okay, so there is a blaster here and some gunslingers. I'm going to give it a try, even though I have a water silence specter. Alright, here we go. Gonna try to focus on the ranged husks right here. Okay, I <laughs> did my teddy, annihilated half of that uh, group. <laughs> okay, okay, I see how it is. And my my, I see a smasher in that building. I'm going to free it somehow. Alright. Never mind, I have a pickaxe. Yes! Come here. Get out of here. Come out in the open. Nice! 
That was perfect timing. <laughs> okay, good thing it's a water element. Oh yeah, and uh, Madcap's uh, spore clouds is just uh, just up for like a few seconds, so that's not uh, pretty ideal. It does seem pretty short, of course. But still, I'm able to kill the rest of his squad, and the Smasher is the only one alive left. Yeah, I don't see any spore clouds left, though. Just bonked me. And <laughs> bonked me for a second time. Well, my teddy actually finished it at least. Okay, I'm back alive. Sorry, I was a little AFK there, so yeah, there is a big cut there. <laughs> but I'm going to be pushing this encampment real quick to check out how well he does in encampments. And afterwards, we can check out the loadout and the weapons uh, that I'm using right here. Okay, now I'm getting flanked by these hives and just going to save some smash. Oh boy. Oh, you know what? Time to use the <laughs> cheat code. The Xenon bow, of course. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Alright, well, that should probably be the test, uh, the solid showcase, basically. And yeah, we can get the move on to the arsenal. Alright, so we are back in the arsenal. It wasn't a very bad experience at all after that uh, solo showcase, thanks to this little weapon that I used to kill enemies while Teddy was doing his job. The Silence Spectre. I was uh, supposed to make a separate video of it before, but I'll make this pretty short for you guys. It is a very cool and an all-rounded submachine gun, a lot of uh, perk options. It does have a very low base damage of course, but the fire rate makes it deal a pretty good amount. So for the silence specter that I built is pretty much a basic crit build with affliction because our teddy also applies affliction for a few seconds which does pretty well. The one on teddy applies is a physical element and for this is pretty much where you can have it on any element. In fact the madcap perk doesn't mention that it cannot be stacked so having a weapon that applies affliction of different element can be pretty pretty decent. Another weapon I used is the xenon bow of course. <laughs> you guys all know about about it everyone automatically has it just because it goes through anything in many reason no explanation needed now we can move on to the loadout everything in this loadout is my personal preference since it's a teddy loadout whether you want to buff something other than the teddy that is totally fine but here is something that i used during the showcase madcap being in commander of course already explained his perk earlier and wanted to see how he does as a lead. Happy Holidays as our team perk to reduce cooldown on the abilities by 40%, which is a huge boost since the cooldowns are a little long, so this helps save a lot of time. In the support team that activates the team perk, Jelly Teacup's under warranty perk synergizes super well with Madcap because the Spore Clouds only applies to new targets. Her perk gives a 100% crit chance on new targets and a 5% chance to change targets after multiple shots, so she is definitely a pick for this build. Another is Enforcer Grizzly, but I'm using Metal Team Leader because uh, she has the same perk as his, which increases the Teddy duration. Trail Blazer Quinn's Berserker boosts the Teddy damage, not the Madcap Affliction perk. She only boosts the base damage of the Teddy. You need to pay attention to the wording here. The fourth perk, Pressing Charges, increases Fragment abilities by 30%. This one is a pretty big boost because the Teddy is considered a Charge Fragment ability, meaning more damage. And the last one can be optional. I put Bear Stare just for fun. Teddy fires lasers every other time to deal energy damage. You can pretty much have a different hero that utilizes on survivability, mobility, or maybe a weapon specific damage boost depending on what weapon you use with this and what so. For me, I just slap another outlander that just does something with uh, the teddy. Okay, for the last try before concluding the video there, I think going in a mission with a random team would make a difference in terms of damage, even if they aren't supercharging their power level. Let's just go straight to this retrieve the data right here because the rewards are amazing. Alright, so just to let you guys know, just before I... <laughs> 
jumped into this mission, I actually changed the Silence Specter's uh, element to fire, so just in case, because I just noticed that this is also nature, so I got a bit annoyed. But here we are, we found a Smasher right away, just uh, right next to the spawn, so let's give this uh, Teddy a try, and the Silence Specter as well, together. So hopefully... It goes very well, and I'm dealing quite a decent amount of damage, probably because uh, of the fourth stats with the team. Alright, so, not too bad, and here is the... Oh, wow, okay. Not bad, very nice, I'm not going to be staying long. Okay, now I found another Smasher right here, stick around. Okay. Bunch of others, hopefully we do very well here. Okay, this one's a physical smasher this time, a non-element. Oh, did I get slowed? Oh, it's slowing pools, of course. It's throwing me off. Okay, these animals, we can get rid of them real quick. And then, let's deal with the smasher, come here. Okay, <laughs> well, this is... I know it's uh, kind of like... This is a Silence Specter showcase other than Madcap, but come on, I'm on, I'm on <laughs> cooldown. Okay, so I found another charge fragment here, and we'll do this one more time before we head out of here. These propane tankers are asleep, so I will still shoot them regardless. Come on up here. Yeah, you're not throwing that anytime soon, buddy. And yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, there's healing death burst, but still, Teddy actually annihilates everything. Probably because I have like a team with me, and uh, the damage uh, goes up a little bit here in the 160s, but not too bad. Maybe on a solo showcase it's not that great, but but in uh, with a squad of people in which I despise being in a squad, is totally making it pretty good. All right, this is the last last squad. All right. <laughs> There's a nurse there, with healing death burst. And still didn't make it. Alright. Let's kill these little big boy husky husks. Alright, they're done. They're done for, including this raptor. Alright, very nice. And that's the Spore Clouds Teddy video for you. If this video seems to help you in some way or you've got the gist of the Madcap Hero, make sure to share your thoughts in the comments. I'm sorry for the two months delay for uploading this very late, but I'm glad I got it off my bucket list. Feel free to use my creator code in the item shop if you wish to support me. Thank you so much for watching, take it easy, take care of yourself, and love yourself.